Hey everybody and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Stash ad today from the Carolina Custom Modeler Show. One of the things I picked up was this cool t-shirt. Got a really cool thing on the back too. I'll show a picture of that in a minute. Uh, but I also wanted to go over a couple of other things. Uh, first of all, you would think somebody that's been going to shows for the number of years that I've been going, I would learn something, but uh, I goofed up and I'll, I'll share that with you. But I want to share the stash with you and some information. So stick around. Let's get into it. Hey guys, first up, check out the design on the back of this year's show t-shirts. Is that not cool? A couple of roadsters, the uh, Carolina Custom Modelers logo there. These are just awesome, and I love a black t-shirt anyway. The colors just, just pop. Uh, these guys usually have something really classic, whether it's pinstriping, good classic stuff, but always uh, a great t-shirt. Uh, while I was there, I'm also a member of the Model Car Mafia in Winston-Salem and their Facebook group. And if you're not a member or have not visited uh, Model Car Mafia, head over there and visit them too. And uh, you, you'll like what you see there. It's a great group of guys. Been around since 2018. Awesome stuff. But I got my ball cap, and uh, I actually wore it earlier today, and you'll probably see it. If I'm not wearing it, you'll see it uh, behind me on the shelf uh, as part of my, t my hat collection, too. But I'm a proud member. So uh, head over and check out their uh, group, too. And also, while I was... Let me see if I can find it. I had a note here somewhere. Um, Kent Lawson... Uh, my buddy came up to me during the show and said, hey, I got something for you. I brought something for you. And check this out, guys. Ah, <laughs> and I know just what I'm going to do with this notebook. Check these stickers out, though. The 88 Pontiac 200 win sticker. Is that not just cool? And gee, what color could that be? <laughs> um, but anyway, Kent, thank you, buddy. Uh, I'll be sharing with you what's going to be going in this uh, not far down the road, I don't think. And also, Doug Myers, my buddy came up, who gave me uh, a set of these last year, and I think it was part th three, I want to say. I need to go in there and look. I should have done that ahead of time. Um, but another set of collector cards, and I think this was the 20 years. That, and check that box out, by the way. You can tell by the black thing on the hood. This is the Daytona car from 72. Yep, tracks trading cards, and I think these, oh, we'll take a quick peek real quick. Oh, yeah, these never been out. Who is that young man? Cool. Doug, thank you again, buddy. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I'm going to even keep the foam here. We'll put these with the others. Awesome. Something else he gave me was something he said he found at a, uh, I think it was a yard sale or jockey lot or something. Paid a buck or two for it. But check that out. You remember these old toys? And I love the tires. Check out the, I can't say you, you don't get any grip with those, right? <laughs> and this is the Buick. And I am going to be checking something, even though it's a different kind of plastic. You know the 16th scale AMT uh, kits of the Pontiac and the uh, Thunderbird? I'm going to check and see how that might fit. Now, it'll do take some doing, I'm pretty sure. But how unique would that be to have a 16th scale Buick? Oh, the wheels are turning. Literally. Okay, um... Let me, let me share with you some little doodads I got first. I went by Wes's Model Car Corner and visited with Wes. And if you saw the, the uh, show coverage, you saw the interview I did with Wes about the upcoming trailer. And again, if you want to order one of uh, those awesome trailers, which I'm going to do a review on, um, as soon as they get in, I'm going to place my order now too. Um, there's your information so you can get a hold of Wes. And also picked up a couple of his new stickers. Cool stuff, huh? And this is the logo that's on his, as you see right here. His big van. That's kind of cool. 
And from Wes, I picked up uh, late in the day, I, I, between talking to folks and uh, filming the show coverage, I didn't get back to some of the vendors in time, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but this was the last one of these he had. This is a new vendor that I wasn't familiar with, or a new company that he carries now, uh, Concup Model Accessories, and this is Pre-Wired Mallory Distributor, and uh, check that out. It's even got the little boots down on the, I hope the light's right for that. The boots down on the uh, distributor. And then the wire, the little uh, boots that go on the spark plugs down there. I'm not sure the light's right, but that's just cool, guys. And it, it, when I got there, he had blue and red. Uh, depending on the car, I like to use the yellow Mallory or the uh, Blue Max, the blue wires. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, I know what these are going to go on already. So um, I picked up a set of those. Um, I think they were like 12 bucks. Um, very good price for what for the quality they are. Okay. Again, if you saw the uh, show coverage, you saw the interview with Glenn Hurd with Hurd Hobbies. And I got picked up a few things from Glenn, too. Check out these rims for the modified. And they've got the holes already in them for the lug studs and all that but check this out you know we talked about this but the electronics panel that has the clear cover over it he is now doing that clear cover and then there's your ignition boxes cool stuff and I'll tell you about how to contact him and his stuff is really affordable too he does some of the best 3d uh, print stuff that I've ever seen and this uh, he is now doing um, stuff that is compatible with Wes's Model Car Corners. All of the, the modifieds are out there, the modern modifieds. These are hop-ups, things like that, and uh, Glenn is doing those in conjunction uh, with Wes. And check out the brakes, the calipers, uh, the studs on all of the... I mean, th this just really... Check that out. Some highly detailed stuff. And while I was talking to uh, Glenn, he was showing me a comparison of his original chassis, which I have one of them here, um, that he was gracious enough to give to me. And if you notice the way these things were printed, all the hydraulics, if you can see the lines and everything, were all printed in there. And that could create a little bit of a problem, uh, not necessarily in painting, but but just to get into the intricate part, see how the shocks and everything, and these things are just hyper detailed. Um, you notice even the vents and the brakes there. I mean, these, these things are just awesome. But the new ones are designed a little bit differently where you assemble all this, so it'll be a whole lot easier to paint. Uh, well, I got stuff in the way there. It'll be a whole lot easier to paint and to assemble, but uh, the level of detail it is the same. I mean, check that out. The Nerf bars, everything. And again, Glenn works for one of the teams, and he printed these off of the uh, um, the blueprints. Uh, not blueprints. Off the schematics for the real car. And these things are just really, really high detail. And now you can do all of the suspension work and all of that stuff yourself. But uh, go over to Herd Hobbies. You see right there, and I got one of these pins there. Uh, HerdHobbies.com. And check out his inventory of stuff. Uh, if you want to do a diorama or just have it with the wheels off, the type of jacks that they use in uh, on the modifieds in the pits, he has all of that stuff, and it is really uh, some incredible detail. And by the way, guys, um, I'm going to try to start doing something that I've been really remiss in doing, really <laughs> haven't done, and that is posting the uh, links to all these these folks that I'm sharing with you. I want to start share that um, the link so instead of going hey go over here and do this you just click on the link in the description area of the video I'm gonna try to start there if I, and call me out on it if I don't uh, next up I visited with STS decals scale model decals 
if you keep up with uh, Throttle Power, our buddy Tim, he did an interview with them, and he's friends with them, and, and they just do... The big thing is they do great decals, but their biggest thing is custom-made. And the level of detail on the stuff, if you go back and look when I was uh, at their table, uh, they were showing me the gold foil or the silver foil. They were showing uh, all kinds of stuff that they can use with, with uh, water slide decals. And this baggie, when I made my purchase, they gave me this baggie. And you notice it's got everything, including a decal brush. And I just thought, wow, man, they, they are above and beyond on this stuff. But they did, as I said, um, have a couple of notebooks that had pictures of custom decals that they've made for people. And the quality of these decals, and they're very opaque. They have a white backing behind them, so there's not a lot of bleed through, if any. Uh, great stuff. But in this package, like I said, you got a decal brush, uh, one of the business cards, License plates for STS and bumper stickers. Isn't that cool? Um, a couple things I picked up I'll share with you in just a second. Then uh, the instructions on how their decals work. And if you remember, they have decals that are, are, are opaque yet thin enough that they'll wrap flames, for example, that'll wrap over a curved surface. Um, meet the team. Um, he and Patrice, and Patrice has been doing graphic artists for, or has been a graphic artist for almost 30 years, and um, she is very good, obviously, at what she does, big time, uh, but they talked to me about custom-made stuff, and, and uh, there's even a, a little card there's how to order custom water slide decals. Um, go over to their website, which is, and again, I'll put the link in there. Uh, and I love their 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 logo STS, but check it out. Custom water slide decals. They're slicker than snot. <laughs> oh boy! But anyway, get a hold of Terry or Patrice, and um, it's www.stsdecals.com. And again, I'm going to put a link in the uh, description for them. But what I picked up from them was something that they said every show they go to they try to make something unique and new just for that show and for this one they did two things mexican blanket decal isn't that cool and they did the mexican blanket that's actually fabric and uh check this out i've already opened it up i even had to show amanda when i got home it's got two-sided, double-sided tape on this thing. Check that out. So you got a Mexican blanket. Tim, they said you hadn't seen this yet, so there you go, buddy. <laughs> and Tim is an expert. I, I loved his tutorial on how to make one, uh, how he prints them and does them. Well, there you go. But I've already got an idea. I've got an old truck, and I've been thinking about that 29 Ford, too. But uh, that is just cool. That is just cool. Hey, guys, a quick show shout-out. We ran into our buddy Dennis Smith, who hosts the MDA model contest and swap meet in Roanoke every March. And uh, he had his brochure, so I want to go ahead and let you get the information on that so you can mark your calendar in advance. It's March the 2nd, 2024. The theme this year is the Cars of Carol Shelby. So anything Shelby, and being a Mopar guy, uh, he made sure that he included on the back, I don't think it was for me, but uh, the Shelby Dodge Charger. So there's a Mopar on there too. And uh, you can uh, go to... MDA modeler or modelcar.com and get this information. Uh, all the info's there. The contest rules, uh, as it says, please read them. Uh, all the information, vendor information, all of that stuff's there. The contact stuff, the categories, uh, all of that is on there. So be sure to go check it out. And like I said, go ahead and mark your calendar. Um, I was blessed to ride up with. Uh, Matthew with Model Car Videos and uh, spend the, the weekend traveling and visiting and we just had a good time and this show was great and it's done in conjunction with a real car show and swap meet so 
there's some great inspiration and some beautiful cars there too. Okay, let's get over to the cars. As I was looking to uh, or through the bins around there, I found a check that out three dollars a pro street chassis and in one of the tire bins and let me tell you it, when you see these little plastic bins and you just walk by them you're losing out on some stuff check out those pro street tires is that not just wicked uh i think it's a i think it was a dollar but hey I got the startings there of a nice little pro street tub chassis and all. Uh, next up, I'd mentioned in the uh, show coverage about bagged kits. You'll find tubs and tubs of bagged kits. And this one was $9, 34 Ford modified. And it is the, and you know, I didn't check to see if the decals, but everything is bagged. I don't know if some of these boxes just get water damaged, what it is, but there's the 34 three window modified body. And I don't know or don't care because these things are great parts kits, but they also build into really nice kits. Slammer. Yeah, hey, the decals are in there. There you go. Um, basically, it's just a regular model kit. It's just... Uh, in a bag instead of a box. And roll bars, all that stuff. And then of course there's your modified. But anyway, cool, for nine bucks, you can't beat that. Uh, the prices on these bagged kits, and what I was gonna, when I mentioned in the opening about, you'd think I would know better by now, what I was talking about is, I was looking through some of these while I was filming, and instead of stop filming and buy it right then, I thought, well, I'll come right back. And between visiting with other folks, running into people, and filming and seeing other stuff, uh, by the time I got back to a couple of things, I just lost out. Uh, this one was still there, and so I scarfed it up. But I lost a uh, 69 Dodge Daytona pro modeler that I built it was the base kit for my uh, 200 mile an hour Buddy Baker car, the Dodge Daytona that you see here. That was the base kit and one of those was $10 and I thought, okay, I'll be right back. Uh, and when I got back, guess what? It was gone. And another one was one of the uh, bass boats with the, uh, the truck with it and it was like $12. And by the time I got back, of course, it was gone. And like I said, you would think I would know better by now, but I did not. Also, the make it, take it, you know, I made a big deal in the show coverage video about that. But at the end of the day, they had some left over, and I asked if I could take Zoe, one of the Snap-type funny cars, and they were gracious enough to go, absolutely, sure, take it. So I got her one, another one, and uh, you know what? When you look at this, the chassis and all, this might make a decent detailed kit. Now well, here I go again. But uh, no, this is hers. So <laughs> Papa's got to leave it alone. Uh, another thing you can find at these shows are incomplete kits. This is one that had a uh, post-it note on the side. I've already taken it off. But it had no body. So there was no body on this, or in this kit. But when you think about it, the Pro Street um, and Pro Stock chassis, engine, roll cage, the tinted windows, hey, for like seven bucks, less the body, I mean, duh, uh, that's kind of a no-brainer to me. But, um, and of course, it's got the gold wheels and the tires. and all. I think the body and the front tires were missing. But everything else, and the other thing was there was a there was a hood and a back bumper, which I'm not really sure what the deal was with that. But uh, there's the tires and the rims are off down in there too. Um, but as far as parts go, that was worth that to me. And then another one I like is being a Mopar guy is Kudas. And this 71 Hemi Cuda, I built two of these things. And this is a low parts count. It's kind of like that 70 Roadrunner I chose for the uh, unified 
scale automotive content creators group build this past year. It's a simplistic kit that you can do something with. Uh, 77 pieces, so local parts count, but it is a cool kit. I really like this kit. Um, and I think this one was, I want to say it was 15, but uh, complete kit. Love these kits. And believe it or not, I got out cheap this year because that's all I got. <laughs> um, but some great kits, great kits. Uh, I think I've got another one of these anyway, so I'll stick that in the... Hey, wait a minute. You know what? Hmm. That's worth thinking about right there, guys. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, that's my haul from the uh, Carolina Custom Modeler Show, and I uh, had a great time visiting with the guys, uh, making some new friends. Some guys I had never met before came up and introduced themselves, uh, and it's always great to be able to put a face with a name, um, that the guys that you meet on, on YouTube, and hopefully I'll get to meet a lot of you guys that I have not yet, um, but uh, there's always a chance. Maybe Atlanta, who knows? Guys, thanks again for sticking around on this one. Uh, again, I'll try to make sure I remember to put all the links, STS, Herd Hobbies, um, all of that stuff, um, Model Car, or Wes's Model Car Corner. I'll try to get all that stuff in there. And uh, maybe the, the MDA show, all that stuff, we'll put that in the link. Guys, thanks again. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.